Hello and welcome back to Bits and Bobs. Today's video is all about the 1859 shilling from the reign of Queen Victoria, the coin we can see on screen now. I'll first go through the design and then move on to the facts and figures. So we have the reverse design done by Jean-Baptiste Malen, having to the centre there in capitals the wording one shilling, of course the value or denomination of this coin. And to the top there we can see a portrait of St Edward's crown. The design is then encircled by a wreath of two branches, to the left a branch of Scots pine and to the right a branch of oak, with oak leaves and acorns visible. These two branches are then tied together to the bottom, with the ribbon tied in a nice bow. Below this is the date of the coin, 1859, the year this coin was struck. Then we can see on the rim, small teeth, milling or beads, and these are all there to add security to the coin, and ensure the coin cannot be clipped or shaven, and so no silver can be stolen from this coin. So there's the reverse design. Moving on to the obverse, we can see here a portrait of Queen Victoria. We see her facing bust to the left by William Wyon, and this bust is known as the young head or the bun head. For obvious reasons, as we can see, Victoria's hair is in a bun with ribbons in her hair as well. Around her we can see a Latin legend reading Victoria de Gratia Britannia Reg FD, translating to English as Victoria, by the grace of God, Queen of Britain, Defender of the Faith. So her titles there linking to God, how she has been chosen by God to rule, and then the rest of her titles as monarch and as queen. And we can see once again around the rim, small teeth, minimal beads, for the same reasons as mentioned as they are on the reverse. So there's the obverse and reverse designs, and we'll now move on to the facts and figures of the 1859 shilling. A coin minted at the Tower Hill Mint in London, where the Royal Mint was based between 1810 to 1975. The coin is composed of 0.925 silver, with 92.5% pure silver, known as sterling silver, with the composition of the silver in this coin, and also the coins before 1920. The weight of the shilling was set in 1816, the Modern Coinage Recoinage Act and was set to 5.65 grams and a new diameter of 23 millimeters. It's a fairly medium sized coin for the time. The mintage of the coin is also fairly medium for the time, with 4,561,920 shillings being produced in the year of 1859. It's a fairly common year. The shilling is a 12 pence piece, which is of course worth one shilling, as the coin says. That'd be worth one twentieth of a pound sterling, as there are 20 shillings to the pound in the predecimal system. And back in 1859, when the coin was made, one shilling was equal to £7.87 pence today. So a coin with a much higher buying power than just 12 pence its original face value. And the coin was demonetized in 1990 after serving as a 5 pence piece for a short while after the summarization. Now then, we'll move on to the value of the coin for a collector to this day. So the coin will sell for around £14 in poor condition, around £45 in fine condition, around £155 in extremely fine condition, and up to £325 for a coin in uncirculated grade. So there we go. Of course, please do comment down below if you have the 1859 shilling in your collection of shillings, as we'd love to know. And as well, of course, please do subscribe to the channel if you learned something new and enjoyed. And thank you for watching, and we'll see you again soon for more coins in the future on Bits and Bobs. Bye for now.